Hello lovely viewers, you are most welcome to our channel Poetry Online. In this video, we shall be discussing the detailed analysis of the Cathedral by Kofi Awuna. Kindly subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get updates on all our new videos. Once again, let us assure you of a very interesting discussion. Get ready for this lesson. Kofi Awuna was originally known as George Awuna Williams. He was born to an Ewe family in the Volta region of Ghana. He is a renowned Ghanaian poet and novelist. He was educated at the Achimota School and the University of Ghana, Legon. He studied in the University College of London and a few years after in the United States. He published many collections of poems, some of which include Rediscovery and Other Poems in 1964, Night of My Blood, in 1971, and The House by the Sea, in 1978. He was an influential figure in Kwame Nkrumah's government and later became Ghana's ambassador to Brazil. He died in 2013 in the Kenyan shopping mall disaster when the supermarket complex was burned by suspected Somali terrorists. Let's now familiarize ourselves with the lines of the poem before discussing it into detail. The Cathedral On this dirty patch, a tree once stood, shedding incense on the infant corn, as boughs stretch across the heaven, brightened by the last fires of a tribe. They sent surveyors and builders, who cut that tree, planting in its place a huge senseless cathedral of doom. The poem again, On this dirty patch, a tree once stood, shedding incense on the infant corn, as boughs stretch across the heaven, brightened by the last fires of a tribe. They sent surveyors and builders, who cut that tree, planting in its place a huge senseless cathedral of doom. Let's move on with our analysis. Have you ever heard the saying, change is good? and change is inevitable? Indeed, change is good and change is inevitable. But sometimes, people reject change when they feel that the old system is still working out perfectly. To those people, if you want to change something, then make sure that the new system works better than the system that is already in existence. You will all agree with me that Change is not always in a positive direction. Hence, people resist change with all their might and will. This brings to mind the sentiment of an old saying, which says, if it is not broken, don't fix it. For trying to fix something that has no flaws or something that is working out perfectly will lead to the creation of more complicated situations. And that is what our poetic speaker is speaking against. Kofi Awuna uses his poem to preach against this senseless cathedral of doom which has replaced an already working system or a system that is solving the current situations of the people. Kofi Awuna's poem, The Cathedral, is a protest poem which laments the loss of traditional practices and lifestyle that has been forcefully replaced by the Western culture. It is clear from all indication that the identity of the persona is that of a proud traditionalist who is proud of everything African and is ready to defend it at all times. The persona shows his displeasure for the cathedral with his choice of words coupled with the tone of the poem. This poem explains in very short and concise lines the incursion and displacement of the beautiful African cultural heritage, religion, and lifestyle by the imposition of the Western culture, religion, and lifestyle. In short, what our poetic persona seeks to tell us is that no improvement or innovation is needed on something that is already working out perfectly. Let's take a detailed analysis of the lines contained in the poem. Starting with the title of the poem, The Cathedral. The title of the poem is very deceptive. 
Considering the choice of words of the writer, one expects to see Christian-related images and a glorification of Christianity in the poem. However, the opposite of this is what happens in the poem when we take a deeper analysis on the lines contained in the poem. On this dirty patch, a tree once stood, shedding incense on the infant's corn. The poem begins with Kofi Awuna's displeasure from the very first line of the poem when he uses the phrase dirty patch. A patch, as you all know, is something meant to cover a damage or repair a damage. However, the poet's use of the word dirty makes this patch seem unsuitable or inappropriate for whatever it is mending. Dirty patch suggests that the new system, or the cathedral, is inappropriate and inaccurate and hence cannot replace the traditional ways of doing things. The opening line of the poem explains how the place used to be before a cathedral was planted there. He informs us that there was a big tree where the cathedral was finally erected. This tree is a symbol of a tribe or African traditional religion and its many potentials. He went on to draw powerful images to explain the benefits of this tree to the people of the land. This tree is presented to us as a blessing to the people. Why do we say it is a blessing to the people? We are told that this tree is shedding incense on the infant corn. In a traditional home, incense are used for purification, invoking spirit and perfuming. The use of infant corn gives a sign of life and abundance to the African traditional religion. It shows the potential of the African traditional religion, culture, lifestyle, and society. As bells stretch across the heaven, brightened by the last fires of a tribe, here the tree is presented as a mighty tree with the use of a hyperbole. A hyperbole is a literal technique that is meant to exaggerate something, to show emphasis. This tree, we are told, stretches its boughs across the heaven, brightened by the last fires of a tribe. This line shows or depicts the influence of the African traditional religion, culture, lifestyle, and society. Here, Kofi Awuna presents African traditional religion as one with a promising future, until the unexpected happens. They send surveyors and builders who cut that tree, planting in this place a huge senseless cathedral of doom. Now, notice the use of the words here. Surveyors, builders, that tree, planting in this place, a huge senseless cathedral of doom. After a very calm and gentle approach to the subject matter, Kofi Awuna in this lines hits the nail on the head by clearly showing his displeasure, disgust and disapproval of the sight of the edifice. This line brings some sort of doom to the poem. Our poetic speaker seems unimpressed by the uprooting of the tree that represented life for the African tradition, culture, society, and lifestyle by the imposition of a huge senseless cathedral of doom. They send surveyors and builders who cut that tree. The poet tries to draw our attention to the tree which serves as a blessing to the people. The surveyors did not cut just any tree, but that particular tree that serves as a blessing to the people, a tree that serves as a hope and represents life for the African traditional religion, planting in its place a huge senseless cathedral of doom, as if that cathedral is another tree or it is meant to replace the African traditional religion. This was a tree 
where religious practices were observed. However, they sent surveyors and builders. The use of surveyors and builders make reference to civilization or modernity. The coming of the Europeans to Africa brought about modernity and civilization. Britain brought about religion. So, they destroyed the African traditional religion, planting in this place a senseless cathedral of doom. The cathedral is a symbol of a new religion, as though it was another tree. This new religion, according to the poet, is senseless since it cannot replace the old tree that was there previously. Hence, the poet's use of dirty patch in the first line of the poem to suggest that the replacement of the tree with a cathedral is inappropriate, inaccurate, and not suitable for the African. This is to suggest that the once holy ground which was inhabited by the tree has been desecrated by the imposition of a new and senseless religion. Throughout the poem, the poet obeys and respects the rules of first-line capitalization, but he however breaks this rule in the last line of the poem when he announces a senseless cathedral of doom. What this simply means is that no amount of wisdom can justify the imposition of a new and senseless religion in a place where the old one worked and flourished perfectly. This point to a large extent bemoans the sudden and total eroding of the African culture, religion and lifestyle by the Western culture. Also, notice the poetic speaker's use of natural element to represent the African religion. He used the tree infant corn that stretches across the heaven to represent the African traditional religion and his use of man-made elements to represent modernity or civilization. The poets use the cathedral, surveyors and builders to represent the new system. Hence, no amount of modernization or innovation will be enough to replace a naturally made object or element. So, the cathedral is unsuitable, inappropriate, and falls short of any standard, hence, cannot replace the African traditional religion. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video.